P.T. Peacock. Peacock reads. Peacock reads. Peacock reads. One pretty morning, the sun peeped over the hill. The sun peeked into Pleasant Park. The sun peeked right into the peacock's house. Mama smiled as she saw the sun's rays. Mama was putting plastic bowls of porridge on the plate of each peacock birdie. Porridge is hot cereal. Pity Peacock, the oldest of all the little peacocks, Counted the plastic bowls of porridge. What is porridge? Yes, it is hot cereal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten bowls of porridge! Exclaimed Pity Peacock. A bowl for Papa Peacock and a bowl for Mama. There are eight bowls for all the young peacocks too. Papa Peacock prayed. Then he passed around a package of prunes. The juicy prunes were plump and big. Prunes are good with porridge, said Papa Peacock. Prunes and porridge give you pep. Papa Peacock gave the little birdies a playful peck on the back of their purple necks. Oh, giggled the little peacock. That gives me peacock's bumps. Mama smiled as she picked up her pretty pitcher. Mama poured pineapple juice in each peacock's cup. After breakfast, Papa Peacock picked up his lunch pail from Mama. In it was a lunch fit for a prince. Mama had packed a pumpkin pie for a special surprise. The little peacocks waved goodbye to Papa Peacock. Papa Peacock was going to work. Papa Peacock worked as a policeman in Pleasant Park. Goodbye, Papa Peacock! cried all the little peacocks. Have a good day! We are proud of your work, said Mama as she gave Papa Peacock a hug. You helped to keep Pleasant Park safe. After Papa Peacock left, all the little peacocks began to work. Several little peacocks helped clear the plastic porridge bowls from the table. One little peacock put away the pitcher of pineapple juice. Another little peacock put up the package of prunes. P.T. Peacock put away the porridge pan. Now, go make your bedrooms pretty and neat, said Mama. Peter patter, Peter patter. All the little peacocks hurried to their bedrooms. Each little peacock placed his pair of pajamas on a hook. Then each little peacock pulled the quilt over his bed. After the work was done, the little peacocks fixed their beautiful blue-green feathers with their beaks. The little peacocks made sure all the polka dots were placed in a perfect row. Peter patter, Peter patter. All the little peacocks ran outside to play. P.T. Peacock sat on the back porch. P.T. Peacock took a deep breath of spring air. Ah, <sighs> the air smelled perfectly fresh. Pit, it had been cleaned by the night's rain. Little puddles were everywhere. Pot, 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 zoom! Patrick, P.T. Peacock's little brother, ran by. Patrick was pulling a plastic plane through the air. P.T. Peacock's little sister, Penny, followed Patrick. Penny was pushing a box of playthings. I'm glad God gave me brothers and sisters, said P.T. Peacock. 
P.T. Peacock waved a wing at his little brother and sister. Then P.T. Peacock plopped down off the porch. Pat, 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 pat. P.T. Peacock walked on a pebble path through his backyard. Look at the picture. Can you find the pebble path? Yes. Very good. P.T. Peacock propped up his pretty tail as he walked. Pity Peacock did not want to get his pretty tail in a puddle. Pity Peacock suddenly stooped to peek at purple pansy flowers. The flowers gave off a sweet perfume. Pity Peacock patted puffy pussy willows. Find the pussy willows in the picture. God certainly made plenty of wonderful things, thought Pity Peacock. I'm glad that God made each one of us special. As Pity Peacock thought, he spread out his long, colorful tail. Pity Peacock's pretty tail was both shiny green and shimmering blue. The end of each tail feather had a large, dark polka dot. Pity Peacock's tail looked like a painted fan. Excuse me, Pity Peacock, what are you thinking? Pity Peacock looked around to see who was speaking. Pity Peacock could not see anyone. Up here, look up here, pleaded and begged, begged the polite voice. Pity Peacock turned his purple neck all the way back and looked up, up, up. Sputtered Pity Peacock. Pity Peacock could not believe his eyes. 